Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and uh, wanted to talk about two uh, software that I've been using uh, mostly with my SDR RTL SDR V3. Uh, one of them was and I've been using it for um, a little while is the SDR console uh, version 3. And the other one that I talked about yesterday is the latest version of uh, SDR Sharp. And um, a few observations that I have while listening to uh, shortwave using the RTL SDR V3. Um, so I don't know. I haven't played a lot uh, with it. So I wonder if there are, I, I would guess there probably are some ways to actually help out on the audio. And maybe some of, some of you out there using SDR Sharp can uh, give me some tips here. But one of the things that I noticed that I don't like when listening to shortwave with the SDR Sharp software is how harsh and kind of um, somewhat distorted sometimes the audio is. I've noticed that in single sideband signals, it's not too bad, but in AM mode mostly, listening to international broadcasts, it's much noisier and much less pleasant to listen to SDR Sharp than it is to listen to uh, SDR console, actually. So in what I've been doing and what I've been using um, for now, SDR console seems to win out compared to SDR Sharp. Uh, SDR console audio, um, to give you an idea, um, I like, you know, I use my SDR Play also with uh, SDR Uno. Well, SDR Uno software has top-notch audio. SDR Console V3 has top-notch audio also when I listen in. But I noticed that SDR Sharp doesn't. I don't know if there's a correction that's possible in here. Uh, maybe some of you that are using SDR Sharp a lot, uh, like I said, could point me in the right direction. But apart from single sideman, that has been okay. Uh, AM mode, even, uh, I would say even to a certain extent, listening to uh, the, the VHF UHF range. Um, is um, not as good as it is when I'm listening in with, once again, SDR console. So if I had to choose right now, you know, the fact that SDR Sharp has plugins is nice, but if I just want to listen in, if I just want to use one software to listen uh, with the RTL SDR V3, for example, between both, I would, for now, be using SDR console that has much more, uh, much, you know, uh, I would say that the audio is much better and richer and, and less overall distortion, I would say, in the processing of the audio. Uh, so um, if anybody has comments on that, it would be interesting to, uh, to hear uh, what you have to say. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.